I'm rather confused lately. I mean, and not like the usual things that people are kind of confused about. Whatever normal people actually get confused about. I wouldn't deem myself, uh, no, 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 sorry, normal. Normal does not exist. Uh, average. What average people deem to confuse themselves as, you know, kind of an average thing. I, likely, am not anywhere near the average. I mean, I've, I've been I've been confused. I, I work now, I got a new job, by the way, hurrah. I work 10 hour shifts, uh, in the blazing sun hauling lumber. Whatever, it's, it's fun, I really enjoy it. But as I was working, I was thinking, what is freedom? Do we, do we have freedom? What does freedom cost? And I, I've said before that we don't have freedom in a sense that we are always tied to the consequence of our actions. So uh, absolute freedom would be freedom to make any decision or choice without fear of the consequences or having to suffer uh, the consequences, whether they be positive or negative, from that. That's absolute freedom. Now, we don't have that because, you know, if I shoot somebody or if I sleep on somebody else's lawn or if I just go to the bank and take out a bunch of money that doesn't belong to me, blah, 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 things like that, I would suffer the consequences. On the same side, if I helped an old lady cross the street, I would suffer the consequences of being a good Samaritan. Now, not necessarily the consequence is not the best word, but I think for lack of a better one. Now, I was thinking about other freedoms. Now this is funny, you know, my whole thing, we're enslaved to somebody or other, oh, it sucks, it's true, really. And I mean, if you if you even want to leave the monetary system behind, and like, hey, we're enslaved to the dollar, you know, we have to work to pay for our house and things like that, even leave that behind, we're enslaved to the government. Now this is really interesting, I'm a citizen of the Canadian government, which I'm sure my Prime Minister is soon to label the Harper government or something ridiculous. But anyway. So, as being a citizen of Canada, I have the lovely right and privilege to pay taxes for all kinds of things that I don't agree for with, and if I don't pay my taxes, I suffer the consequences. Now, one thing is, I own my house, okay? Now, if I don't pay my property taxes, I'll get fined. If I don't pay my fine, my fine grows, and eventually my fine will get so big because I didn't pay it and they tack on interest that they'll take my house from me. So basically, it doesn't matter that my house may be paid off or not, I still have to pay the government of Canada for the right to live in my home on a chunk of Canada. Yeah, yeah. So I have to pay the government, it doesn't matter if I'm retired, I could buy my house, retire, and live in it and not matter, care about anything. No. Well, because electricity is not free, water is not free, but it's the land, most importantly, isn't free. I, as a citizen of Canada, born and raised in this very own country, don't own the land. No, no, I simply lease the motherfucker. Isn't that ridiculous? Excuse my language. I'm a little bit just, a little bit dazed and confused how we managed to let this happen. Uh, I pay income tax, sure. So when I get paid, so my hard earned dollars, you know, the money I sweat and toiled for, when I get that money, suddenly the government says, this is mine. You worked, these are taxes. Don't worry though, your tax goes to pay for health care, for education, for road maintenance, for national defense, for welfare for all kinds of lovey-dovey things that you may or may not agree with or whatever. And, you know, that's what your taxes go for. I mean, of course, they build the part like your taxes go to fund uh, our benefits of the government employees to pay our ridiculous salaries to, you know, uh, pay for our ridiculous, costly, expensive vacations, which we call, like, conferences in other countries and our visits to other countries to study the culture and things like that and business meetings. It's like, your taxes pay for all that too, but shh, shh. it doesn't matter that we're broke. I'm still going to collect $500,000 a year as your whatever of Canada, as an employee of Canada, because, hey, that's what matters, you know? It's not the people. That's, this, is, this is one thing we should always come to realize. Me and you, basically, the bottom of the pyramid here, it's always a pyramid. It, it's just how life is. This is us. This is the people, okay? And now, interestingly enough, there's the people, then there's the government, and then there's corporations, and then there's banks, and then there's bigger banks, and then there's world banks, and world banks is, you know, right up here, and then, boom, powerhouse elite are at the very top of the pyramid there, they're like the Rockefellers, uh, well, I can't remember the other one, there was a few, there's a few, I guess, like three families, I think, anyway, that's, that's basically the pyramid, so, it's funny, I have to pay to live in my own home that I paid for, because it's on a chunk of Canada. I've paid taxes my entire life. What are my taxes going for? I pay taxes into a system called welfare so that somebody who doesn't want to work 
can say, oh, you know, I have a, I'm depressed, I can't get a job, or, oh, you know, I'm, I, uh, I have a, an alcoholic condition because, you know, I drank too much because I didn't care about my life, I need welfare, or, oh, hey, I have a crack addiction and I can't pay for my crack, can I have welfare? And our government's like, sure, we'll support you, citizens. And then there's, like, me, I don't get any tax breaks, I just have to pay a lot of money to my government, and then they give it to people who don't want to work. I'm like, okay, that's ridiculous. But now it's another thing. Not only do they tax me when I get my money, but when I spend my money, we have a 12% tax. Now, I know 12% is, it's in the medium range. Uh, province next to me has 5% tax. That's great. Awesome. I know other countries have, like, up to 24, if not higher, percent tax on things. But 12% of every dollar I spend, so 12 cents on the dollar, goes to, can you guess? Oh, my government. Well, where does it go? Well, I don't know. I mean, we're broke. If you think about every single Canadian paying, or even British Columbia, how many British Columbia, a couple million? Like, what is there, eight, nine million Canadians living in British Columbia or something along those lines, and uh, we're all paying 12% HST on everything. And then we're also paying carbon tax. So if you drive, I think it's 6.6 cents, if not more, a liter, every liter you buy, 6.6 cents goes to the government. Well, where's all that money going? Where's all my 12% going? Where's all my income tax money going? Where's all the money that I'm forking out going that I'm not seeing any positive reviews, eh? There was a huge flood in a, in a town called Sycamus, about 30 kilometers east, or, you know, whatever of me, and millions of dollars of damages. The province is like, well, we don't really have a lot of money to pay for that. You know, uh, even though the Prime Minister of Canada, yeah, he cut the funding for the for the people to go up creeks and un uh, jam logs and stuff like that so the water could keep flowing so it didn't build up and then you know create a huge devastating flood that could you know destroy hundreds of homes like that. no he got the funding for that but you know we don't have the money though for the uh... for, for the, the damages that it caused so we're really we're really sorry about that well where's my twelve percent hst going where's my carbon tax going i mean prom prime minister has a five million dollar pension hey wow great he's doing a great job of selling off our countries individual assets to foreign countries, which they call leases, you know, 10, 15, 25 year leases to foreign countries to come and take all of our assets. And then when they're gone, we'll have nothing and no one will want us. Canada, the most beautiful place on earth. They're destroying it bit by bit. So this is a little something I was confused about. How did we manage to let ourselves get enslaved to the government? And not only that, why and how did we become enslaved to the almighty dollar? Anyone know the answers? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on this. What can we do to fix this? What can we do to change this? I'm sick of being enslaved. It's one thing to have the consequence of my personal choices. I can live with that, absolutely. You know, I don't have a choice. But why do I not have a choice with my government? Why do I not have a choice with the monetary system? Control, absolutely. You don't give us choices, therefore we're absolutely controlled. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Because it's, it's really bugging me and you guys are, you know, we're, it's like hive mind. Really, I think the evolution of humanity would be like, we literally are all hive mind. And now it's not, what can I do to benefit me? It's what can I do to benefit you? Because if you're doing better, then I'm doing better. It's like, I improve you, then by, what's, uh, just as a consequence, my life improves. That kind of thing. Peace, guys. I uh, enjoyed talking to you. I have another video coming up really soon. This one's rather interesting. Uh, are we safer? We'll find out. Peace.